guys welcome back to another video and today's video you join me for a video in Poland so we're now in Poland as I mentioned before we're gonna take this car to Poland so here it is how can I prove that oh you know what let's show you a number plates so you see those number plates there there you go so first of all I want to say the drive was amazing that car there I'm so impressed it was just so cool to drive this car it drove so nicely I mean honestly I'm really impressed with this car. Let's hop in the car and discuss a few things now. So let's talk about the journey. The journey started in London. We go down to Dover. From Dover you take a ferry crossing to Dunkirk. And then from Dunkirk you go into the Netherlands. Well, Dunkirk is in France. Netherlands, Germany, Poland. So yeah, it was a long drive. Approximately 1,100 and something miles from London to where I am now. Um, the car did it really really good I'm so impressed I mean honestly I did not expect it to be this smooth the car drove like a bullet I mean comfort wise you know what again I'll say those seats are not terrible guys those seats are really comfy especially the driver I didn't feel any back pain as a passenger you know from sitting a long time you might feel a bit of aches, you know, after a couple of hours, you're going to want to get up and stretch about, but that it doesn't matter. I mean, if you sit on the sofa for a few hours, you'll probably feel that. So I'm really impressed. The seats, fuel economy, the car done really good. Uh, just almost three tanks from London to here. That's like a thousand one hundred and something miles. So that's pretty good. I use um, premium fuel. So 98, 99 octane fuels. Um, yeah. So almost three tanks that's definitely quite good and also i got to do a bit of a let's just move i got to do a bit of a test out on one of the german autobahns so german autobahns restricted motorways well not all of them but i did a lot of driving in germany so i did manage to test out quite a bit on uh, german motorways you know what let me show you i managed to get a little clip um I maxed out the car 160, well it's limited to 155, so on the clock it showed me 160, so it might have been 155, but it felt so, so, so natural. The, I'll put in this little video here just to show you, the, the, the revs on the car didn't even go up to, five. it went up to 5,500 and, and it can go further, so it just showed how easy and capable the car was, and probably if I take away the limiter, I would easily say 180, 190. It just felt so smooth obviously I've got the original Dunlop tires so they really felt good stability it was really cool I mean against the wind it just felt very natural it is actually easier for me to drive a right-hand car over here it just feels more natural so whenever I drive rent a car here, I take a you know a car from here it just feels a bit more like you need to pay a bit more attention but driving a right hand car in Europe feels easier to me another thing is I want to say driving in Europe compared to driving in London England I would say a lot England not just London well actually I see another English car here <laughs> um, people drive here so much better people respect the roads people indicate uh, it's just it's a different ball game I mean on the motorways people stick to the left well here's the, in england it's the opposite but in other words people stick to the well in england the right lane is the fast lane here the left lane is the faster lane i mean the overtaking lane not the faster lane but people here or in europe will stick to the right lane and overtake when they need to or move to the left move to the right i'm getting confused there when when a car is behind in England, London, people don't give a damn. People go below the speed limit on the right lane and do all that. And no one indicates, no one respects the roads. Driving in Europe is a lot more better. I mean, this is what I experienced, not just today, not just yesterday. In the tens of times I've been driving around here, 
it's different. I guess here the police are more strict. I mean, they give you a ticket for every little thing, and um, just people drive with more care and attention. Again, this is what I experience. I can't uh, say every single place is like this, but uh, for sure what I experienced, especially in Poland. And also, I did not get to video the journey of coming to here. That's because I was driving a lot through the night. It was dark. It wasn't, it wouldn't be like anything major to do that video. So this is why I haven't videoed the actual drive. But as I said, I'm going to try and get some nice driving videos down some nice country lanes around here. And uh, yeah, just show you what it's all about, what I was talking about. So yeah this is just like a little update video stay tuned guys i mean make sure you click that thumbs up button if you want to support the channel and of course the notification button on top so you get notified whenever i upload a new video and of course you gotta be subscribed and uh thanks for watching guys i will see you on the next video bye now